Do you want to design cool, interesting, and unique characters, but find it hard to find ideas for this? Well, what if I told you there's a way to transform your designs from boring to interesting really easily? It'll make your designs eye-catching, and people will love it. After I made this character design, I was able to use the same exact trick I'm going to show you to make it way better. Whether you already have a character design and want to make it better, or if you want to start completely new, this video is just for you. So, first we have this design here. There's nothing about it that's very interesting, right? It doesn't stand out at all, and it's kind of bland without personality. Now I'm going to use this trick to make it more interesting. So I'm starting over and redrawing the same exact character, and then what I'm going to do is ask a random generator to give me an item. For this one, the item I received was sushi. So now here's the part that you need to follow to make it super interesting. Look at a picture of the item that was random generated and pick out the distinguishing characteristics of it. It could be the shape, the colors, or the texture, or really anything about it. Look at the areas of your character's design, and find places to incorporate those disting distinguishing characteristics. It could be accenting with colors or adding accessories with the same color or texture as part of the item. For this one here, I changed up the clothes a little by looking for ideas online for a way to style it, since my mental library for clothing designs isn't that great. Pinterest is a great way to find ideas for this sort of thing. I also changed up the hairstyle a bit to fit the look of the item a bit more. And you don't have to do only one item either. After adding characteristics from one item, you can find another random item and add a few aspects of that into the character. Just try to keep in mind the colors and try to keep them as cohesive as possible. A trick to do that easily, no matter the color, is just to shade them both with the same color set to multiply. The color you're setting to multiply can be somewhere between the two colors that you're trying to make fit with each other. I've used this on so many occasions to spice up character designs, and I hope it works well for you too. Aside from just being a good way to make interesting characters, it's proven to be a really good way to practice drawing, because it trains your eye to notice certain things more, like shape language or different textures. All that aside, that isn't the only way to design characters. You might want to take online classes or watch tutorials or something to increase your knowledge of character design as well. But using what I just showed you will definitely further your skills once you've learned the basics of design. And that being said, I've got a video focusing on another way to really help you improve fast that's sure to make your art skills progress even faster. It's super easy and all you need to do is watch the quick 3 minute video at the top right of the screen.